All right, hello world. How y'all doing out there? So I should look more at the camera, I'm realizing. I'm probably, what, 30 streams in and just now really thinking about focusing there instead of looking at the screen when I'm talking to y'all. Uh, how y'all doing? Hope it's going well. Um, I'm Alan, welcome to the stream or the VOD. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. That's a good way to do it. Uh, I'm doing that vlog. And it's called, gonna be, I think it's going to be called Alan Says Hello World. So I'm going to, I think I've been starting these with Hello World. So Hello World. Um, gotta continue something tonight that I started last night and then work some on this morning. Which is, I've got a process that, well, so I'm, I'm making stream notes now, right? And as part of the stream notes... I want to have a list of links. Oops, don't know what that just did. So here's the one from last night uh, that I've been working on. So I got it pretty well put together. Um, but the last thing I want to do, and I've got a first version of the thing that's doing this running, but I want to refine it a little bit, is look at all of the tabs that I've got open. I have a process that looks at them all for all the windows, so multiple windows, multiple tabs, grabs the URLs and the titles, and then the descriptions from all of those, and then outputs it in Markdown for me with you know the, the title linked with the URL, and then a dash and whatever the description is. So I've got the first version of it working, like that's what created all this. Uh, but I want to make some edits to it. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, the, I spent a lot of time, uh, earlier today or in the earlier stream moving, uh, the, let me go down just a little bit for me. I don't know about you. Hope it's all right. Uh, moving the script. I originally started it just kind of his own little process, like just a little file. I started it in my little scratch pad. I was making progress with it there, but I kind of hit this point. And I was like, you know what? I I think I'm actually going to jump it into like a full kind of tested, actual like you know production-y script. Um, and the more I've thought about that, the more I really like that because this really is a tool that I'm going to use. It's not just a scratch pad thing. Um, I'm not going to give up on the scratch pad for any means because that's where I'm going to have like snippets of stuff. So for example, like Selenium stuff. It took me a little while to figure this one out. Um, so here is just a quick Selenium script whoops, that does nothing but grabs the title from a, a URL. So if we run this, take it a second, got to go spin up a Firefox browser. I don't know why it doesn't always ask me that. It only sometimes does. Uh, fires up Firefox, which is what it's using for its web driver, goes, gets the page, and then delivers back the title of whatever the page is. So I'm still gonna keep snippets and that's what I'm gonna use my scratch pad for. And, but the, when I'm doing things that are more code code, I will make independent, you know, directories for them and projects for them or whatever. So I've got a project for this and I think it's pretty solid. Like the, The couple things that I need to do are, right now it's just outputting the standard out. So I need to write it to a file um, just to make it a little easier to deal with. So that's pretty easy and that won't require testing, right? Because I don't need to test open and write. I need to, I want to drop any Google searches because there's not really value in having the search results because I use the search results to get to the page. It's just when I, you know, search something, um, whatever, uh, elephant, is that how you spell elephant? Like I just always open in a new tab, whatever, uh, links I'm clicking. So I'll have links open that fire up over here, but I leave the search results open because sometimes I go back to it. Um, or whatever, but I don't need those search results in the notes. So I'm gonna take out the search results. I'm also gonna take out dupes. So lots of times 
I will search for things several times. You can see all these Google things up here. There's a good chance, and actually I'm sure, because I took some of them out. Yeah, so like, right here. This link is in there three times. I guess I can make that bigger so you can see it. This link's in here three times. Really only need one. Uh, and again, I'm just, I'm doing stuff to, to make it easier for me to deal with. Um, and then the other one I'll do is when uh, I it can't find a description, uh, I'll drop this little dash so that I don't have to edit those out, right? It's all about the process of making as much as possible this stuff just drop in so I can make as few minor edits as possible or as few edits as possible. Hopefully they're minor. Um, yeah, here's another one where it's all three of them. So that's where we're headed. The first thing I think I'm going to do is just write it to a file so I can see it a little easier. Uh, and that's going to be something that I do. So it's printing the string. So if I can just go here for all the lines. Uh, with open uh, tab link details. Might as well make it marked down. Uh, we're going to do right. Why is this up here? With that as a uh, link file all these, tab that. I just actually remembered for the first time that tab, how to actually do tab in PyCharm because it's different than every other app I use. So let me go to link dot, right? I think that's it, right? That's how you do this. Whoops. Yeah, I wish I had a better way to test short versions of this, but like I've got all those tabs open and like I'm, I want to capture all those because that's my links for the last episode. So I don't want to close it and make it faster. Um, let's see. Yeah. Hey, it's actually playing new music for me. Nice. Okay, yeah, why does it keep bringing all that stuff up? Uh, so I think that's it, right? Let's see what happens. So I run this file. Yeah, it was funny, I was trying to remember, I, I guess I could go back and watch it, but so when I was first doing this, I started, so a couple days back I was using Selenium, uh, just kind of messing around with it and then ended up using it for screenshot stuff. But so when I started this process, I started I started with Selenium um, and had some struggles with it, but I think I solved most of those things. But then I jumped over to using the this uh, URL, URL lib request URL open. Which, by the way, this is going to be a post because if you just use this, which is what every example I've ever seen has, if you hit a 403 or a related error, it explodes, um, which took a little time to figure out. So that's going to be right up. Uh, actually, I should do that, right? That's a good way to do that. I'll throw it over here in this one. You can't see this, I just realized. I'm just making a note to like talk about that in the 403. I guess I could do this so you can see it. Uh, that's fine. Let's see how PyCharm is doing. Finished. All right. So we should see that. I overwrote it every single time. I wish that would stop pop popping up. Stop. All right, who knows how to turn that off? Four line. 
All right, so we're firing do it. Do it comes up here. We run the script. We get all the lines. We have, oh God. References. at the bottom right window that there's a head icon. Whatever, I'm gonna do this. Show toolbar view mode. Move resize help. This thing's a really frustrating. I'm gonna spend a minute here trying to figure this out. See what I'm searching. I was looking for tips up there. Appearance of behavior, comma. Quick list, settings, menus, and toolbars. Good lord. This is a very customizable app. I don't think those things used to be there. Like, I'm I feel like I'm getting them much more now. Settings, preferences, go to eddings, inspections. All right, we're gonna try this. This is great. What did it say? Editor, inspections. It'd be great if those were alphabetized. Nope. All right, I'm about to give up. Go to completion. Parameter info, show parameter info pop up. Let's we'll turn that off. He's holding console editor. All right, whatever, I'll just get used to it. Why? So we open the file once. Oh, I'm not doing, I get it. We need to have a new line. We'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. Format. And actually, you know what? Actually, hang on a second. I want to see, is that still doing it? Yeah, okay, so I want to turn that, whatever that option was, back on. Oh, I hit cancel, so it must be, whatever. Run this. Boop, 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 boop.
Yeah, and so I'm going to full-on test this. So this is going to take a little time. Um, but I want this first output of it so I can see what's going on. I'm going to comment this at this point just so I don't accidentally run this and have to wait for it again. Assuming we got it right this time. This duplication bugs me, but I was kind of brain dead trying to fight it earlier. It's cool to get a bunch of URLs. All right, let's see if we hooked it up right this time. This looks better. Nice, whoops. Sweet. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw that into Sublime Text so I can see it a little easier. A little easier. I'm gonna bring this font down just a little bit. It's gonna be harder for y'all to see, but it'll give me a little, uh, fighting chance with it here. 123 links. See, that was a lot easier than me having to go get them all independently. Excuse me. Um, and let's wrap it so we can see what's going on. All right, so this first one, I'm just gonna take them in order. So this first one's a Google search. So let's work on getting that out of there. So when we run it, we get all of the lines back. And so we should just be able to, this isn't actually gonna take as much of a test just because it's in this last output. Um, hotkeys mess with me. So we're gonna look through all the lines. And so for this one, oh, we're gonna do the split. Actually, it doesn't matter if we do the split. I can skip it right here. I'll skip it as soon as we find it. So if regular expression search matches All of that, which I don't remember if any of those are special characters. Dots are special characters in regular expression, what they mean any character, so it's fine, it can mean itself. I don't remember what the colon in regular expressions is. Actually, you know what? There's a tool we can mess with for this. Python. I've got a tester somewhere. Uh, I want to see if I can find this real quick. I started making a tools or page with a link of tools and I haven't done it yet. And I don't think that's made it yet. Come on, pin board, let's go. How you doing? Yeah, uh -oh, that's not good. Whatever, Python, regex. Tester. This is it. Pythex. So Q equals whatever. So really what I want to do is just see if this matches. Okay, it matches 100 percent I wasn't sure like if the colon meant something in regular expressions. Um but that works fine. So this will this will match. Uh, and I'm gonna do this. There's a couple different ways I could do this. I'm gonna do this the quick way um, for now. Python next for loop. I don't know how to do next in a for loop in Python. Flow control. 
huh? Four. Okay, four print. Show me a next. We have to search for next, probably, to find it. Break, kicks out. Continue, that's what we're looking for. Continue statement also borrowed from C, continues with the next iteration of the loop. Cool. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, seven, eight. Oh, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. Right. So prints out an even number, goes back to the loop. I gotcha. So that's continuous, is what we're looking for. So that should take out the Google searches. Let's look at the other ones that we want to get rid of. Oh, this is hard to look at. Uh, Google search. I don't know if this is better or worse. Uh, you know what I should do is try and flip this. Oh, localhost. We want to get rid of localhost. And again, like, I recognize there's better ways to do this, but this is where my head's at right now. Drop my site. Discussions, Google, Stack Overflow, time date. That may be, oh, what's uh, 127s? Yeah, so. Anything that's uh, what Django does. I feel like that's going to be it. run it see what happens in order to run it we come down here and run it oh wah, wah. try that <clears throat> this might but yeah this would actually speed it up just a little bit because it doesn't I'm firing this off before it goes to try and get the the actual pages to pull the descriptions, which happens down here. So this will be a little faster. Guess I could have put a slash after that. No, it had a port on it, so. Actually, yeah, because that could have a port too. Let's look at that. Oh, launchpad, I should have done launchpad. Dropped 30. Sweet. Oh, wait. Stream notes. There's your local host. Okay, those will go away in the next iteration. Wait. Oh, I had a slash after it. That's why. Because it's 1313. Um. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna actually alphabetize these just in case I need to look at them again. Look, I'm before Google. Let's make this a little easier to see. 
you could make one big ore, you could do a loop through those. Like there's like this is a lot of duplication, right? To do all these continues. There's definitely better ways to do that, but this is just getting it done and where my head's at right now. It's not um, and also very much if I really want to go back like the done is better than perfect and not done. So even though this isn't the optimal way to do this, I haven't finished the thing yet. So sometimes I'll go back and refactor, but this is a case where it's like the, the value of refactoring this is minuscule, right? It, it would only be to do it for aesthetics. And I want to finish the thing. I, don't get me wrong, I love aesthetics, but I want to get the thing finished before I work on the beauty part, right? Um, so we're in pretty good shape here. Next thing to do is going to be dupes. Where are some dupes? This looks like a dupe. Nope. Scraping to this dupe. No. Slightly different. This one? Time's up, there we go. Okay. That's a dupe. Uh so I'm just trying to think. There's a couple ways we can do this. So if I split it. What's the, isn't there a Python thing? With only one instance of a variable? No. I'm looking, it's not a dictionary, it's not a singleton. Classes and objects, instance variables. Now I'm not asking the question right. Uh, It's like a list, but like if you put the exact same thing in it twice, it wouldn't show up. I I guess you could do that with a map, right? Collections. Ooh, I don't know what any of these are. Yeah, it's like an array. I mean, you could do it. it isn't doesn't um, Python call them maps or Python's arrays effective arrays of numeric values? Types copy what? What's going on? Set. I think that's it. Your new set. A frozen set object whose elements are taken from iterable. Let's just have to hash table. And this is a frozen object if iterable is not specified, a new empty set is returned. Provide the following on version's length. X and S, X not in, is test whether every other element is set is an other. That union copy note. Uh, the set for the set supports set set comparisons. Following list. This is not telling me what the set actually is. Pop clear discard. Intersection update, update. I think I just dicked. This frozen set tuple. I think this is it.
Unearned collection of unique items. That's what I'm looking for. Deprecated. Okay, whatever. Built-in set, frozen set. Provides a constructive mode for leading. Unordered collections of unique elements. Common uses include membership testing, removing duplicates from a sequence, which is what we're looking for, and computing standard math operations on sets such as intersections, unions, differences, and symmetric difference. Whatever all that means. So now we're going to go to our scratch pad. Uh, let's go put it in scratch pad for right now. Sets.py. User bin uh, Python 3. So I just like having little snippets of stuff. Um, so can you create? From set import sets, all right, or whoa. So you just make, this is actually not what you would want to do because you could have two people with the same name. But what I want to see is, so, my set equals set. I'm gonna make it empty for now because I wanna see, it had that set add, right? Add X, add element X to set S. My set, whoops, set dot add. I don't know what happens when you print it. How do you print it? Can I import set from sets? What? It really changed. Get the type set. Built in types. Set is not defined. Set empty collections. Let's try this. There we go. Oh, it's in squigglies. So foo bar Bart. Okay, sure. Right now, if we add foo again, we shouldn't see it. We only see it once, good. Oh yeah, it's unordered. So this is what we're gonna to use to do our deduplication. Got that. So now we're going to come back over here. So we're going to make a set up here. Output lines equals set. That was unordered. So we have to figure out how to order this on its output. But this is what's going to, what I'm going to use to strip it. And I don't, and again, this is one of those, I could test this. But really, I'd just be testing set, I think. So, like, that's not super useful. Um, 
So if we've got this, instead of writing, we're going to come here. Whoops. Tell output lines. Output lines add markdown string. Okay, so we got that. So that's our set. So we actually don't need to have this open yet. So I'm gonna back this out. Drop all this back. Because we're just creating, I really wish there's a better way to test this stuff or a faster way to test this stuff. It probably is, I'll just, I'm not in there right now. So that does our split, or that does our uniqueization, uniqueization. Um, and then, so the other thing we can do, so we can test a little bit, right? Cause we've got our scratch pad. For item in my set, whoops. Print item. Is this gonna work? Yeah, okay, so that's how we're gonna be print the stuff out. So let's come here. I feel like I need to write really fast. With open all that stuff, man. Output file for MD line in output line in what just happened? Output lines, output file, right. That with a new line, format that. Okay, cross fingers. Yeah, so what I could do is I could actually just grab a copy of this basic output from this script. And then process it and then do target what it's supposed to look like after it's been processed. I've done that stuff before, but it kind of, I don't know. Sometimes it's a pain um, and whatever, it, that's fine. But like right now it's just like, ah, I'm just gonna see if I can make this go. Um, if I get stuck, I'll do that. But like, I got a pretty good idea of the things that I'm trying to do. Um, so we'll see what happens. Now we're down to 69, all right. So we've cut the number in half. Sweet. That had an ellipse in it. Interesting. Okay. You know what? Let's do this. Got it set up so that Dupes, deduped. That was the word I was looking for. So I removed from the MD output list on version files. Ooh, I want to. That needs to be version. Uh, I'll add that in a second. Actually, I'll add that now.
and then come in again. Got that. I wonder if it gives me an option to ignore. Add to get ignore. Nice. Get ignore. I should have to commit get ignore now. Ah. Pie charm continues to impress. All right, we're in good shape. That's a tester, that's a readme, that's fine. That's your output. Uh, cool, so we've deduped. Now, do I wanna take those dashes? Yeah, I wanna take those dashes off. I was gonna say, cause sometimes I'm gonna actually put, uh, like I'll write my own little descriptions or comments or whatever, but I don't wanna have to do that. I, and it's easy enough to do that. So like, I'd rather start from nothing and then just do the dash because I'd be typing anyways. And having to go back in and explicitly cut them. So this we can actually use as a test. Because we make, do we make the line somewhere? Make MD string, right? Make empty string, string, right? So it's returning that, here's where that dash gets put in with the description and the description could be nothing. So we wanna make a new test. Test description, empty. Selfish. So, wait, that's wrong. I want to test the MD string. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Test integration, yeah, I didn't use that. Def test, make MD string with no. Self. Initial string, just because I got it right now. Wait. No. Let me just start with this. Target string equals nothing. Result string equals nothing. Self sir, equals expected result. I guess I could call this expected string. Ah, target string's fine. So I want to hit, this is really weird that that, oh yeah, yeah, the dash starts. What I'm targeting is this. And then just to make sure everything's working, I'm gonna do this. Just to make sure this test fires, right? Test passed, okay, cool. So now, I'm gonna put this here. Oh wow, I decided to flip that for me, so that's okay. Uh, so again, test is gonna pass, test passed. But when I comment this one out, oops, there should, this needs to be empty. This is gonna fail because there's that dash. Show me, there it is. There's this dash. So that's what we're trying to target. And this is pretty straightforward, so I think it is anyways. 
Um, you know what? I'm just going to get in this habit. Am I? Whatever. I'm going to see if I can make this work. Right? So I'm going to copy it to start with. Just so I've got a copy. It should be if description. I think you're supposed to use is, right? Is nothing. Else. So if description is empty. We want to drop that. Otherwise, print it out like we had it. Save. How are we doing? Passed. That was pretty easy. I just want to run all the tests. Can we run all the tests? Seven passed. Okay. So that took care of those dashes. We've deduped. Uh, here, let's come in. It's been a long time since I've really coded, and testing is still relatively new to me, so this is a good exercise. Uh, so now I think the only thing left is to alphabetize. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Python, alphabetize, set. Sorting a set of values. I want us to reach set. That's easy. For any set S or anything that's iterable, sorted S returns a list of the elements of S in sorted order. Now, is this going to talk about how we make it go all lowercase so it doesn't, uh, we don't have all the capitals up top? What is this link? Wikipedia, set, computer science. Merchants, setting how, sorting how to, setting, sorting. List sort, show me lower. String lower. Okay, is this sorted? Split string lower. With list sort and sorted have key parameter to specify function to be called on each element prior to making. So sorted. We can pass it the set. Again, we're gonna test this in here. Now, will that happen to work that time? Uh, or is it always gonna work? Yeah, so it's not consistent. Sorted. Key string lower. So we're just going to lowercase everything because in computer world, uppercase letters and lowercase letters stack differently. So instead of like A, A, B, B, C, C, it's capital A, B, C, D, E, F, and then lowercase A, B, C, D, E, F. So when you're doing the sort, you go from the top to the bottom. So you hit all the capitals first and then all the lowercase ones second. So capital B is in front of lowercase A. Uh, but this probably works. Right, a few more times. I think that's works. You know what I should do? Oh, it'd be interesting. I could tag these 
somehow for stream notes with like I would probably actually use that. No, I would use whatever. But I could tag those and have them show up automatically in the post so that I've got the snippets and just have them wire in. I like that. We're going to do that. Not there we aren't. Uh, Twitch ideas. Tag PyCharm That's just, again, it's just gonna make it a little easier for me because like right now I'm, so I threw a copy of that code over here earlier, but now I've just updated it. So when I go get this, I've got to go at that because I want to I want to put snippets in for all this stuff. So that's pretty good. I like that. All about the automation. Come here. All right, so relatively confident this this works. So now to do our sort. That's our make string, make description. Do it for line and OSA lines. That throws it to the set. This is the set. So what we want to do is this. Is that right? We're sorting our set with keys lower. Oh yeah, so when you take the... Ooh. When you take the alphabet and you slam everything lower, then the comparisons are letter to letter instead of uppercase to lowercase. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm oh, gonna get copyright struck for whistling the Jeopardy theme. Good news is I think it was pretty out of tune and out of tune with itself. So maybe I'll survive. I still got to go through and uh, finish downloading the YouTube music that they let you have um, to add to this playlist. So there's about 500 songs in there right now, even though the Groove app only plays 20 of them. Um, but I want to go get all the rest of them so that I can have some automation. And then one of the things on the list is to go through and um, try and normalize them a little bit and try and figure out the beat pattern so I can make playlists that are more consistent, uh, just kind of automatically, uh, instead of me having to jump off stream and do it. So, all right, everybody cross your fingers. We start with fours, we start with eights, A's, B's, C's. So we, oh, here's some H's with some more H's that are lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase. So that worked. We might be there. Yep, no dashes. We still have some uh, descriptions. Where are the descriptions? We went up to. Oh, because I opened some more pages. Right. All right. Let's actually take a look at this. Stream notes. 
survey says. There it is. Web driver question about time zones, roll that list, sorting out to you. Yeah. See, I still want to like mess with these. And also I don't like all the like the, that doesn't work good for the color. Like I like this live code. Like that is nice. But like down here, that's just too much blue and like it makes it hard to read. So I'm still gonna edit the CSS on this. But like this is solid. It shows me what we need to have. Um, and like, I'll do some cleanup. So like get data from a web page using Apple script. Um, oh, you know what I could do? Cause I don't like that HTML, whatever. I was thinking, well, so I was thinking I could remove like dash stack overflow, but I don't mind that. It's just these little ones. Cause like really what you want is to get meta tag or whatever. Um, Oh, wow, it puts the whole tweet in the description. Look at that. I started music. Wonder how long that's been going. Sweet. Okay, that's it. That has it. Now it's just up to me to go through, like, and actually do edits, right? So I'll go through again and, like, take out. Oh, you know what you could do? We're gonna do one more thing. So if it matches Stack Overflow, go through. Let me do this. A little much. I want to drop this Python or whatever, whatever that first string is. Whenever it's a Stack Overflow thing. Because there's going to be a bunch of Stack Overflow, and that'll help. Do I want to do that now, is the question. Uh, yeah, we're in it. Why not do it? OK. Did I make a change? What did I change? Uh, show me the diff. Yeah, sorted. Sorted output. I guess, I don't know. I've seen things that talk like you should say sort output. It's probably, you know, go with whatever your company or group does or whatever, or whatever your project does, because you know, maybe all over the place. Yes, this is a stack exchange thing. So if I wanted to get super crazy, I could look for anything that's a stack exchange or stack overflow or whatever, but that's... I'll, I'll deal with those in, uh, individually. Um, but these, let's say Stack Overflow. Like, I want to leave Stack Overflow in there. Like, that's I'm cool with that. Oh, so there's two ways that I could do it. Um, I was actually thinking I would just look at the title. And I think I still may, but you could actually go verify that it's Stack Overflow by looking at the URL. But if I keep, but then I have to look at both the URL and the title to make the determination versus, oops. Oh, the title actually just comes down from the Apple script. Title comes down right in here because we split here and we get the title in the URL. So we need to process the title. All right, cool. So we make one more thing. Def test process title. Uh, expected result. I'm just gonna start doing that since that's what it says, uh, or actual. I think that's actually what it reports on the test case. When you see a failure, I think it says that. And actually, we can test that right now. Self. There we go. Expected actual. And if we put, nope, nope, there we go. Put one in there, test that. Expected one, actual nothing. Yeah, okay, so that's great. I'm gonna start using that for my 
for my test setup. Because then you can... I mean, that reads perfectly. Uh, so expected. What are we looking for in our expected? And again, I'm going to go Sandy Met style here. So, And just shameless green this. And by that, I mean, we're just going to do this. Uh, actually, what we want is this. And we're just going to get that. Right, test runs. Okay, proved it. Uh, then we're going to come up here, stay one step away from green, and we're going to go... I name this thing along. This... Process... Title. Uh... Well, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bump. You could do this and then you could add the thing in, but that's fine. Um Actually, yeah, let's I'm gonna do it just literally one step at a time. Um so this is gonna fail because that doesn't exist. Uh I'm gonna I am just gonna grab the string though, because I know like these next couple steps I'll just mush together. Uh process title. Let's put that down here. I don't think I've got these alphabetized. Uh, whoops. Process title. You need self in there? I don't think you do, right? No, because use the thing. R return value equals this. This. Return. Return value. Oops. You come here. And so now it's going to pass because this process exists. And now I should be able to take this out because we're returning properly. And what you could do is you could make that fail and then go copy it in. But like, I've done that enough that I know that's what's going to happen. So that's what we're dealing with. And now we actually need to pass it something. this Python and when we pass this it's gonna explode because we're not accepting it yet but we just want to make sure that it fails it does now we just take it and we run and it'll pass because we're hard-coded to pass back cool and now we can do our work so So the, the pattern of a stack overflow URL or title, that's the readme, is string dash string dash stack overflow. So if I split this and then look at the final thing, and that final thing is stack overflow, then I can reassemble with the second thing and the third thing. That may make sense in a minute. Uh, tokens. I got nothing right now, we're just gonna call them tokens. Equals initial string with split on space dash space. Cause that way we chomp the space. Um, Let's just make sure this works. It's not exploding. Yeah, okay. So now we need to see if the th third token exists because we'll only process from that point. So if tokens two, because we're indexed off zero, print, I'm just gonna print it. And we should see some, uh, I should probably debug and look at it or whatever, but get with what you know. See, stack overflow. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, we're just passing the one thing to it. Oh, really? I should test this twice. Um, 
I'm not going to do that probably. I'm just going to test to make sure, sure this works. But what we'd want to do... I'll test this and then I'll run it. Like you could test a version without Stack Overflow there. So you get the positive and the negative. But like we'll see that in the output. And then if something breaks, then we'll write a test for it. So I'm not going to jump. I'm not going to jump to that. Uh, so if tokens two, we got tokens two. And then if tokens two equals or is stack overflow. return value is we're going to take the first part and the second part format this may not be super obvious let's get to print that Stack overflow. Is there. Did I spell something wrong? Nope. If tokens two is stack overflow. Oh, why didn't that work? Uh, Cause we split there. That's better or worse. It solved it. Oh, so it's not, I, okay. I don't totally understand the is versus the equal equal in Python. Um, I've heard you should use is, but clearly this works. And this is the string that we want. So if we actually return this right now, our test should still pass. Passed. Let me get rid of this. And then otherwise, so if tokens two, I think we can just put return right here, right? Okay, actually, sorry, we're gonna test this. We do need to test this. title stack overflow whoops I was about to put in code that was going to be untested code def test process title no stack overflow uh, for the cheat shouldn't really do that, but we are. So expected is actually going to be this, this, and then I just want to get the test passing first, right? So I'm going to do this. Good. Test pass. And now I can comment this out and this is going to fail as expected. I always want the test to get a green version of the, so I want to, I want a red version of the test that breaks. Well, I want a green version of the test to prove that the test that I'm not, that I've got the mechanics wired up. Then I want a red version of the test to verify that something really is busted. And then you go back to green, right? Green, red, green. Um, so now we're at red. And with luck, we're just gonna pass the initial string right back. Nope. 
actual... How did it get to that? Oh! My test wasn't good. Uh, I need to have a different... A non-stack overflow thing. Python data types. So we're going to get that. And then we want that back. Crap. Ah, list injects out of range. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop back here again and get back to green. No I'm not. Crap. List index out of Oh, here we go. Because I got some work to do, and I want to get back to where I'm safe. Oh, actual needs to be this. Okay. See, yeah, I should have started here. Green. Okay. So now I can get to here, and I can run this. Test failed. List index out of range. All right, what I'm actually going to do with this one. How do I want to test this? So again, I'm, I'm interested in trying to stay as close to green as possible. And the way that I've done that in the past and the way I'm going to do it now is we're just going to duplicate this method. And we're going to call it underscore dev. And we're going to point this. So we're still green. We're going to go underscore dev here. This is going to fail. But what this lets us do is come to underscore dev and just do a hard return to get us back to green. Whoops. Try this one. I'm, I'm going back and forth between Windows and Mac a lot. And the hotkey positions are in different places. All right, we should be green. We're green, so now we're safe, right? We're back to safety. I'm gonna run everything. Safety. So now I can work on this one without worrying that I'm screwing up the rest of this. And what I'll be able to do, I'll show you in a second, is when I think I've got this one done, I can forward the, the prod one to that one, and then all the tests will go verify that stuff works. And if that doesn't work, I can immediately back out with one undo. Um, I really like this technique. So I'm looking for that. And we know that the error we got, so I can introduce the error again, right? Because it's still the it's still the test. Like everything's lined up in the same places. Where is it? Somewhere, it's gonna tell me. List index out of range. So here's the problem right here, right? So and I thought that if we did this if tokens too, it would work. But maybe. And again, I can play around with this, right? Because I'm I can get back to green in an instant. And I need to I need to play around with it a little bit just to figure out what's going on. So what happens if we length this? And then we call that two. What's that gonna do? Test passed. All test passed. Cool. So we just made this change, and now instead of copying this code up in here to start with, the first thing I'm going to do is just straight call this. And then that, and then we're going to return the value that comes back to that, from that. So none of this code is going to get executed. I'm just forwarding on the, the incoming traffic 
processing it downstream and then firing it right back up. So hopefully, crap. We broke something. So now this isn't working again. If length of tokens is two, so it's somehow not getting back here. And now again, so it's like, okay, bail. Green. So if length of tokens is two. Length of split, what does split actually make? This is not helpful. Did you Google for Python spring split? Like, don't. Never do this. Whoa. Keep data out of your variable names. Oh, was he doing? Or she? Them? String var, one, two, three, four, string one, string two. Okay. Yeah, length of list. Right. See, now I can do whatever I want in this one because I'm still green, right? Still green. Length of tokens is one. Oh, right. Because the only one that we're passing is one. But then why didn't the other one work? Tokens, if tokens is to split return value, otherwise return initial string. Let's get a forward it one more time, see what's happening here. Expected sorting a set of values. And this is in. Let me make sure, right? How can I tell which URL it is? Which uh, test it is? It does not tell me. Surely it does somewhere. I just want to make sure I understand which one it is that's having the problem. Python data types. Initial string. So it's this one that's having the problem. I should probably name these different. Python 3 probably makes more sense. Oh, are these... Is that the only one that has the Python thing in it? The other one? Yeah. So when we s it's coming to here. Process title, let's go to that dev one, right? Actually, let's do, let's actually try a debug thing. Let's put a debug in right here. See, tokens has three things in it. Is length of 
Ah, uh, I see what it is. Length is not zero indexed. I don't know what that was. What was this? A few breakpoints. Okay. Let's try this. Test passed. Nine test pass. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so length isn't, so the logic was right. I just had the wrong thing. Um, and so now we've got two options. Like the way that I'm gonna deal with this is since we were forwarding all that traffic to dev, I'm just gonna rename this old for a second and then take dev away from this. And now for rerun the tests, something choked. That was not supposed to happen. Process title dev. Oh, 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 right. Because this is still point to dev. Try it again. All right, see if we can run them all. How do you run them all? I thought that's what I was doing. Run unit tests. Run tests for, like, I want to run the whole file somehow with a hotkey. Python console, uh, none of these seem to be a thing. So you gotta like click in, can you click on that? Yeah, whatever. There you go. So all the tests are passing. Right, so that's the way that I really am enjoying doing that stuff. Because that way you can mess with stuff and you don't get down a rabbit hole and then have to like, you know, get reset hard to get to it. So I can nuke this code. We don't need that. There's a new code. I feel like I deleted too much stuff there. Tests are still passing. So that'll take out the stack overflow, uh, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna do a little cleanup. Or it'll take out those little placeholder tokens. Um, in stack overflow, get rid of that. One more run of the test, just because we touched some stuff. How are we doing? Green. Remove stack overflow slugs. Slugs. Now we run it for real, see what happens. My God, there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, run. Control four. I wonder if that does whatever file you're in. That would be handy to have. You can't totally see this, but this is just the pause while we wait. Just control R from the top. Okay, I'll have to look at that. First, that was wrong. Uh, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? First of all, yeah, 73. Okay, yeah, yeah, we keep adding windows. Why didn't it work? Oh, I didn't actually use it. I tested it, didn't actually use it. Uh, where's process title? I wanted to make sure you spell it right. Process title. I should really have do it down at the bottom uh, since it's what gets run. 
but that's okay. Where's my title? Title, title equals process title, title. Now we're gonna use it and see what happens. Also, is this the Pythonic way to do this? Like, you just declare title and then you just overwrite it with its own thing with the firing it back? I mean, it works, but it, I don't know if it's like whatever Python 86 or whatever the, um, the thing is that you're supposed to follow the guidelines. Yes, I will go look at that up at some point. No, I'm not gonna do that right now. Selenium, is that a software quality? Okay, so it's not, that's a Stack Exchange, not a Stack Overflow. Okay, again, that's fine. Where's some Stack Overflow stuff? Here's a Stack Overflow. And look, that is awesome. That's awesome, that's great. Oh, I wonder if I could, mm, see, it would be dangerous to take out numbers at the front. How dangerous though. Locating elements, selenium python. Like that's I'm gonna have to clean that up and then put them back in the order because I don't want them sitting there, right? I want this stuff to be sharp. Ooh, sorry. If it was just taking out the numbers, that would be one thing, but like having it having to then reorder it is kind of the trick. Um so on our collections with the dash error, it's not, okay, Python docs, that's fine. See, there's all these patterns, but you can, you can do that with a regex pretty easily. All right, we're gonna do it. Just cause I don't wanna have to clean that up. Like it's, you know, that's six. That's one days, so, uh, and we're in the middle of this stuff, so why not? Um, def test. Wait, did I commit that? Wait. Oh, yeah. Why did that change? So weird. Uh, actually implement. Oh, wait, I can. I don't need to worry about that because we're gonna do it for real here in a second. Or another commit on the same thing. Def test process title with numbers. So initial string. Do something with another number in it. I think I just move things. Mm, we're gonna do something with complicated numbers in it. Ah, lots of complicated numbers. Come here. You are a good candidate. Mm, except I want double numbers. Ah, there we go. Numbers and numbers. Numbers and numbers and numbers. So initial string. Maybe this. Expected, nothing, actual, nothing, self, assert equals, expected, actual, close, right? Everybody cool? Everybody's cool. And now what we want, I'm not gonna try and get like that sets or whatever. This is just removing numbers. So we want to get those numbers out of there. So let's just make sure that's still working. Cool. And now again, I'm going to call a dev version of this because I don't want to work on the existing one. Uh, 
Whoops. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's a lesson learned. You should do it this way. So when you want to go back and test, you roll that out. I ah, still would have goofed it. Whatever. You can do that when you're all this today. Looks alright. Uh, very cool, right? Everybody testing? Yeah. And so now, same thing. Where. Yeah, I'm going to put it down here. And then we'll call this dev again with initial string. This is going to explode because we need to add in a dev version of this. Actually, what do I have there? Nope. So we're just going to duplicate this right here. Call it dev. And again, it's not doing anything. Why didn't that work? Unordered collection of items. Unordered collection of unique items. Oh, 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 oh. So, right. So initial string. So now I just want to pass this straight back to it. Right. Cool. So again, there's our safety net. We're green. And we're immediately green. Now we can actually play around and make stuff go. So I'm going to get this out of there now and do everything on this one. Because I've got I've got a test now and I don't want to have that thing hanging around. Um, and I've got, a, I've got my own method I can play with. Like, everything's cool here. So that's, I like this. And we're coming back with this. Even though we start with this. So let's just take a look at that. Right. It's fine. All right, so we can run this before the token split. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on getting I'm I'm gonna ignore this logic. I'm gonna keep that below the return. And just work on getting this as a return from, from this initial string. Um and so pi reg x. How do we do replace? Find and replace. I want to replace with a regex. Though. Wait, so that's just replace. You don't have to use a regex for replacement. There's a built-in replace method. Yeah, I don't want that. Sub. Okay. I was getting all crazy with this one. Uh, actually, let's do this. Reg X replace sub, because that's what it is. But uh, find replace. We're gonna do this over time. We're gonna do this over time. User bin environment Python tree. So we're gonna import re. I've 
lost my ability to type. So I kind of want to do this without doing the compile. Let's grab the string that we're working with here, which is this one. It's a very long string. It's kind of too long. Oh, no reflections. I just want some, I don't want the string to be too long, but I want some good stuff in here to play with. Um, so initial string, and then uh, what's a good term, right? Naming is hard. Um, no front nums equals so regular expression substitute the pattern is going to be okay it is in quotes so start of the string oh yeah okay we're gonna here actually where's that python this thing test string so Start of the string, slash D gets us a digit. Uh, how do we do? There we go. Okay. So we're going to create a grouping. In that, in that grouping is going to be digits and dots actual dots, not dot as a as a stand-in for anything. And then plus for zero or more of them. And then just to totally chomp it, we want a slash dash for space. And I'm gonna put a plus because we want to eliminate one or more. So that's our reg regex. Really handy tool. So we're gonna substitute that with nothing on this. And that, get out of there. It's gonna print this, hopefully. There we go. Uh, cool. We will post that at some point. Actually, here we go. I want to have really good show notes, but that takes time. So that's one of the big things I'm doing here is trying to make that take less time because I bet they're important, but they are sometimes a bear to do. All right, so we're here. We've got our initial string. I pasted the whole thing. I didn't need the whole thing. That was for something else. I need this. So there's our no nums. I'm going to return it first. And then we're going to come back here and do our test. Passed. So I'm going to clean this up. So I can, so the, here's the trick is I can run this over anything. Because if it doesn't match this pattern, nothing happens. It just, you get the same thing that you put in. Um, if that is correct, I should be able to reduce, I should be able to remove this and the test, test, should, test should still pass. Cross your fingers. What do we do? Sets on your actual sets. It didn't cut it. 
Oh, right. Because, ah, so, see, it's no longer the initial string. I'm gonna do this, we'll see if it passes, and if it is, I'm gonna rename some stuff. There you go, so that got the pass. So this function is now working. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Well, so actually I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Title string. I guess you should call it title. I just, that, I always, short words always kind of freak me out. Title, whoops. I should stop copying and start pasting. Uh, title. All right, still happy? Still happy. I wanna run the full test suite. All right, all 10 passed. So now what I should be able to do, or the way we can check this, right? So I can come back over here. I can return this. And just forward everything on. Everything's still passed. So now I can drop this, rename this, and rename it on the test. And hopefully, all 10 passed. There we go. So that's chomping the numbers. I'm getting faster at this too. Amazing, as I get practice. Uh, yeah. A little white space while we're here. One more. That many. Nope. Some of these are one, 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 one. I guess they all are one. Nice. Uh, good. Everybody happy? All right. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so this is one of the things, like... It, if you're looking purely at time, it's gonna take a while for the benefit of this to pay off. Not super long though, because if you think about, if I had a hundred tabs to go through, copying and pasting all those URLs, and then typing in the titles, because you'd have to do that manually, that's a non-trivial amount of time. It's also a non-trivial amount, it's a way larger amount of just like, ugh. Oh wait, why didn't I take the first one off? <laughs> the try statement. Why didn't that work? Huh. We get to find out. How many links do we have now? 73. So let's go back to our regex. No matches. Seven. Oh, it's looking for this pattern of number dot, number dot. So it found the first one, but there's no, if I put a dot here, it's gonna find it. Whoops, if I put a dot there okay 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 how do you do wait does this have a regular expression cheat seat this sounds awesome where do i get exactly m's no oh it's probably square brackets uh square brackets right matches any characters matches any except yeah i did the wrong thing so let's take our dot back out Let's start here. There we go. And let's go ahead and put that here. Oops. See what would be a better one to do. Ah, whatever. You could 
put a list of these things and show the examples of how it cuts all of them. Um, I'm much more I'm confident now in this regular expression. And we'll get a explicit or a implicit test here. I guess it's implicit. So where was that regex? Somewhere down here. So these need to be these. Thought that felt funny. I was kind of surprised when it worked. All right, now we're just gonna run our tests again. Before we spin up the whole thing, tests are okay. Run it. This music is hypnotizing me. It's more upbeat, but it's a lower volume. I should have gone and gotten a drink while that was running. Hey! No numbers. Lots of alphabetization. alphabetization. Got some lowercase stuff in there. Where are those HT? There's some in the H's, right? Oh, wait a minute. There's something in the H's that we found a while ago. Why are these all capital letters? There's some B's. Okay. I thought there was something in the H's that had an uppercase and a lowercase. Oh, I, it was one of the Stack Overflow ones. It had a lowercase HTML with a dash. We took that out, so that went somewhere else. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool. Yeah, so we can get all those numbers. Why does it feel like that's not centered up right? Something behind it's not. Weird. Okay. These windows keep getting almost lined up. There we go. Let's see what that does. We have it open. Nice, 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 nice. I hope this is it. Yeah, A's. Oh yeah, that S was throwing me. Um, I gotta do something about the the coloring and the font and all that jazz, but this is pretty solid. And like some of the stuff, like I'll do, oh, I wonder if on Stack Overflow, so I have a string Stack Overflow. I have a, Stack Overflow puts in In some instances, title, they just dump the first part of the question. We're not done. Uh, Cause that's, I don't want to have to deal with that. So what I'm looking for, like, is there a built-in function with like, that's what's good. Um, also, I may take out Stack Overflow at some point, but I really like Stack Overflow, so I don't want to. But like, that's different. Yeah, I may in Game for Geek. Yeah, I'm probably going to take out some of that stuff at some point. Right now, I'm definitely going to get rid of all these because I'd have to get, like, right now, I'd have to go through and take all those out. Like, those are not gonna last so I'm gonna take them out uh, first we're gonna commit what do we do move reading numbers from titles all right 
so let's see where we want to do this. Um, but actually, let's try something. How are we going to do this? Because we don't... So I assemble the markdown string somewhere, right? Let me look at the actual code. Make markdown string. Okay. We're gonna do our little pattern here, make markdown string with no description. Test make mark down string remove stack overflow description. Guess who likes long, meaningful titles? Expected actual. Expected, actual, all right, everybody cool. All right, we typed all that right. So then let's pick one of these, whoops. Find me, that looks like a stack overflow, yep. I'm just gonna put this in here right now just cause I've got it and I needed something to look at. Delete all this junk. I'll have a good scroller for side to side. Let's go this way. Just the link. And we're just gonna nuke it all. Right. So again, just to stay green, we're gonna do this. Verify we're green, we're green. Now, actual equals. We have to pass actual stuff here in a minute. Uh, let's actually just do it step by step because there's a few things going on. That. That. Okay, we'll just do this for a second, right? So it's going to yell because we don't have dev. We're going to make sure we do this right. Somewhere here, here it's going to tell me we don't have that, right? No attribute. No. I'm just going to copy. Why is that gray? Weird. Dev. And now it's going to yell because we're passing the wrong number of arguments. Missing three required positional arguments. Cool. Okay. Whatever. Title equals that. I 
really should be setting these. I'm going to set these better. That's really what we want is this so that we're send, sending variables up, right? The full title. Oh, these are the outputs. That's okay. I'm already clipping something off of this, but that's okay for this part of the test because the, the, the title is meaningless right now. It's nuke in the description that's gonna happen. And I'm gonna do that based off of the URL. Right now, I'm just trying to get this to pass. Pa uh, no, it failed. That's okay, because we're expecting that to happen. Because right now, here's what we're expecting. So we're going to straight return this and see if that gets us passing. Passed. Okay, right. So we got our safety net in place. For safety nets. Uh, and I can nuke that. And we're good. There's probably a more efficient way to set that stuff up, but that's I'll work on that. Yeah. So what we're looking for is that, right? With nothing after it. That's cool. So make MD string. And we're in our dev version. Uh, return string. So no, so let's do this. Uh, yeah. Nope. If URL match stack overflow dot com return. So we're only doing the one test, so none of the rest of this stuff should hit. If this will let us know if we're if we're in the right place for the match. which we are not. String object has no attribute match. How do you... Oh, re match. See, I'm used to something else. Capturing message, conditional matches. Oh, also I'm gonna want search. Not match, match starts from the beginning of the string. RE search stackoverflow.com in the URL. What you got? Pass. Okay. So we know that we're in the right place. We're doing the match because this stuff never got hit, um, which is nice. Uh, and so now we can just do the assembly here of uh, MD string. Let's try and call that. See, I'm still not, I don't mind using the word string. Some people freak out about it. Like it's, uh, actually, let's just do this. So I'm going to cut it this way just to move it into a variable and then send back MD string. Just make sure that works. Yep. And so now whoops, that was not enough. Format, title. 
title should already be cleared by the time it gets here because we're just doing the simile of the string. I think this is going to work over the full test. So that worked. And then URL, which will replace out here. URL. Oops. What are you going to do? That worked. All right, now the question is, if we do our forward, whoops, come on. If we do our forward, oh, you've got to do it by name. That's uh, kind of a bummer. Just because it takes another second. It's nice when you can just copy and paste the line down, but I like named parameters, so. All right, so we run that. It's only ran one test though, so let's run them all. 11 passed, okay, so we got it. So now we can kill this one. Make that not dev and make this not dev, where'd it go? Just looking for the word dev right now, but I feel like I missed it. There you go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't like that. All right, run them all. Nope. Run them all. I've been passed. There we go. Okay, so we're green. And now, so that took out all the crap at the end of the stack overflow lines. Uh, could do the same thing for the other one, but like I don't have very many of those, so that'll just have to do for now. Running, I will be right back. I'm gonna get a drink. Ask for better timing. Crush fingers. Uh oh, okay, there we go. Here, let's just copy and throw it to someplace where you can see it. Just over here. Some links from the stream. How are we looking? Ah, oh, got rid of all that crap. Ask different, a stack exchange. Geeks. I'm actually looking at this. I don't know that I want. You know, it's funny. Uh, okay, some of these are okay. Someone says, you know what? I spent all that time getting these. these descriptions like time zone abbreviations worldwide list information about the time zone abbreviations of acronyms were I thought there would be more I don't know why I thought there'd be more stuff in there the try statement 7.4 the try statement I have a scenario that's another one that I'd rip out yeah okay spent a lot of time working on those but 
That's sunk cost. Uh, where am I going? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Where are my... Oh, I'm getting zony. Title. Markdown, stack overflow, description. Markdown string. Oh, I should call them ND strings. That's probably what I was looking for. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. Markdown string with no description. Yeah, 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 sure. Markdown string. So I could do the thing where I make another, make a copy of the method and roll through it or whatever. Um, actually, you know what? Just to just to practice it, I'm gonna do that. Cause, yeah, because then that'll actually let me. Oh, you know what? Let me let me set up a test that helps me remove the tests. description. Yeah, that's going to go away in a minute. Actually, hang on. Commit something, right? What did I do? Move descriptions from stack. funny because like I've I don't have a good example easy at hand um, but like when I'd put up links oh yeah look at that one uh Whatever. Let's see if the Vanities have it. It used to be when I'd put like links down at the bottom. Here you go. So footnotes. I I'd, I'd basically do this kind of stuff, and I'd write up a bunch of footnotes, and I'd have links or whatever. So this is kind of what I was picturing, and what I was picturing was you'd get the link first, and then you'd have the text that would be like the description of the page. So this is what was in my head, but this is not what that was. So oh yeah, density kanji. Love that one. Um, Oops. Apparently I clicked the link. So yeah, we're just going to yank all that stuff. Uh, but we're going to write a test to help us do that. Twitter multi-line description. Like, all this stuff's going to go. Oh, so fun. Uh, def test make md string v md line. Let's call it line now line v2 so expected pycharm does the weirdest stuff sometimes it's like if you just barely touch the keyboard wrong i'm sure if you use it all the time and know it it's awesome but like it feels like playing with dynamite for me. Um, it's not a good analogy. Uh, so expected quick brown fox downsmith.com www.downsmith.com expect that. So fail it. Pass it. And then work through it. So that. Uh, make a D line V2. And we're going to pass it a title. Oh, uh, let's do this right. Actually, let's just run here because that's going to blow up. 
make this description. Get, 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 JVC, G. I want to keep do it up there, so I'm going to put it above do it. Def, that, whatever, now we can do it. Title, URL. Uh, return, uh, actually call it the thing, MD, line, equals nothing. Return, MD, line. So I'm kind of jumping a little bit, right? But uh, actually, yeah, see, I've kind of jumped. So I'm going to stay red for a few of these things, right? Uh, title. Yeah, see, let's get back to green. But we're still missing two values. So that's still gonna be red. I, wanna get, I just wanna get to green. There we go, okay. So now I can pass the things. the things we can make sure we're green we're green for some reason it ran to all 12 tests no idea why and now we can actually do the work uh, yeah because everything has a title and a URL This is like 10 hours of work down the drain, but that's what happens when you, that was cha it's a change in scope, a change in requirements, right? So the customer thought he wanted one thing, turns out when he saw it, he did not like it and didn't want it. That's a thing that happens. I did not cue directly in the microphone, sorry about that. MD line equals someone to make a computer language that looks like that. That's probably like it's almost like a emoji or a ASCII emoji. I don't know. Title URL. What say you? Test passed. Uh, actually don't know how that's going to help me get rid of the tests we don't need. I guess I could remove the things, where's the other one? I could just remove the other one and then have it show me the broken test. That's the way to do it. So I'm green now. So I've got the new thing in place. Let me put it all the way in place. Um, Whatever. Now it's just messing with me. Good description. Somewhere down here. Make MD string. Nope. Make MD line V2. Whoops. Every now and then it's just like, what is going on? So we're gonna do this. And we're gonna take that out. We're gonna take that out. And now it also doesn't have to go get the pages. So let's see how fast it runs. My guess is faster. Hmm, not as fast as I would have thought. I'm still going to get the HTML page. That's why. Stop. I really should have commented this stuff instead of just nuking it. Why don't we do that? Like I'm relatively confident, but like that'll bite you. Where did our stuff go? There it is. So we're gonna do this. 
We do that. Now we're gonna get rid of these three lines. Now let's try it. There you go, a little faster. I had I had an idea, but I couldn't I I couldn't see it until I saw it. I mean, I, so that that time is not wasted. I didn't have the information to know that that's not what I wanted until I saw it, and the only way I could see it was to do it. Now maybe I could have spent some more time manually looking at stuff, but like. I was already in the code and like doing stuff, so like I, you know, whatever. It's that's where we landed. Uh, let's see what the page looks like now. Links and links and links and links and links. Why is this? Oh, I guess the title is the whole is all that junk. Excuse me. Okay, so I still have a little cleanup to do. Yes, Dave runs this thing. Uh, you'll see documentation for nine. Yeah, so. Yeah, and I can look at these, right? And then go, okay, so this is beautiful soup three. So we're gonna get rid of that one. Beautiful soup four document or 4.9 documentation. So we can do that, right? I'll do some cleanup. Um, but that's it. That got it. Uh, last step is I'll just remove all that other junk that we don't need anymore. So this all goes. That's there. Uh, we don't need to get the web page anymore. I'm just gonna kind of keep running this as I'm chopping things away because it takes very little time to run now because it doesn't have to get all those URLs. Uh, process title, we still need. Let's move all that up. Yeah, none of these methods are huge, which I also like, except for our do it, which could have been split up a little bit better. Um, there's version two that we like. Here's all this junk that we did that goes away. This is also where we, sh so if this still runs, we're cool, but we're gonna break some tests, but that's expected and we want those tests to go away. Make MD string. Uh, where's the name of the test? I mean, I'd probably figure it out just by looking, but I'm trying to see. I want to, as much as possible, use the error messages to help me figure the stuff out. So this is the full test. Error for so it feels like it should be down here somewhere. Actual MV string module URI puller has no attribute. Oh, here we go. So this is it. File line 66. Okay. So that's in this one. Wait, is that showing me what's busted? Oh, that's cool. Again, I can tend to be and can I that? Ooh, wait. Whoa. Whoa. Did you see that? It's like a zoom in on. Okay, that's pretty slick. No, doesn't like it when I'm. Oh, it doesn't like it if I'm already on it. But if I click it. 
Huh. Good on you, PyCharm. All right, what's the pink and purple ones? ITI string. What's wrong with that? Oh, I clicked on one, so it was showing the other one. Ah, interesting. All right, now nine tests, test passed. So we got rid of all that stuff. What else do we need to get rid of? Deleting code. Get description. That goes bye bye. Look at all that. Ugh. Wait, why do I have two get descriptions? It's one of those uh, get description new. Oh, I didn't do a good job of that. See, that's the one kind of danger with that stuff. Uh, don't need beautiful soup anymore. Don't need request anymore. Oh my goodness. I don't remember how many lines it was, but it was much more than 50. All right, run it. That's got it. Move to just title and URL. Which is super funny. So here's the thing. I'm doing, okay, I'm actually doing a little cleanup on the titles. But the Apple script itself, the original Apple script, gives you the title and the URL. Other than, so, again, I'm doing some cleanup on it. So it's not, for a second I thought I was like, oh my god, I could have just gone straight back to the Apple script. Um, and it's probably possible to do some of that cleanup in the Apple script, but I've, it's a lot easier to do in Python, I'm sure. Um, we have to just title and URL. With some title cleanup. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, script pulls here. Play word wrap. There's gotta be a way to word, word wrap. Folding? No. Well, there's one easy way to word, word wrap. this uh, let's just push up the readme a little bit uh, does not need beautiful soup I mean, that's really it. Uh, what? It's right here. It says the consultant. C-O-N-S. with contains oh oh yuck did that default to begins with maybe it's whatever you did last I don't remember switching that but that's not I mean I may be useful but 
Not digging it. Oops, I lost my... Loa, hey, tell me. Is that the... Yeah, God of Voodoo. Really good band I played with for a little while called Delmoa. I sat in with them twice. They're a really good band. They let me sit in with them twice. Consultant.net. Capture. This is it. I just want to put this in the readme. I could probably do the readme off the stream, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so that's that's that. Uh, I don't know. It's weird when you like end some of these things. It's like, ah, error done. I don't know. It's kind of like uh, when you're reading a book and like the climactic scene happens, but then there's like kind of the post afterglow kind of thing. I don't know. But like, don't really have that here. It's just like we're done. Boom. Uh, Dave gets a call down here. That's why I delete that one. Um, it's more important to have the other one. Data types, documentation. Uh, I'm not going to add those now. What I am going to do is close 1 million tabs real quick because we've got all those captured. I'm not even going to really look at them. Cause they're all, I'll be looking, I'm gonna go edit and look at all those links. Oh yeah, that, uh, I forgot to say that it removed dupes. Oh well. My computer's gonna be like, oh, thank God. What was the number, like 170 something? You could use that same Apple script and put it in like a, a launch D thing that just runs it every now and then and post how many tabs you have open and like plot it during the day. That would actually be kind of fun. That would actually be kind of fun. I may do that. Is there a... Close all windows, does that just kill everything? Ooh, spinning. That's a good command. Uh, sweet, okay. 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna get on 7.30, two and a half hours. I'm trying to figure out if I've got any more of me right now. I kind of do. 10 o'clock? Yeah, it's only 10. Uh, Django, not Drupal. Let's go look at Django. Let's see if we can remember where we put Django. Uh, that's sweet, that's good. Um, actually, let's do that to the readme real quick. Dupes, dupes, whatever. Get 
Check out. Oh, I should have looked. Actually, let's look at Pie Charm and see if it's got. Uh... Pull. I don't see any handy. I think if I click this button, you can see up in menus. Yeah. Local history operations pop up. Branches push, stage, history put label. Stash, sorry. I don't really use most of this stuff. Close it. Nope. How do you close it? There's no X. Oh, I guess it's there forever. Get. Open branches merge. How do I check out new branch master? Check out. All right. Get. Yes, I want to merge with that branch. No FF, good. Cool, okay. Let's just make sure that's really doing its thing. Eh, it looks like it. What if we run it? Did it do our thing? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, it did work. I closed all those tabs. Uh, oh, import was collapsed. Don't sub process anymore? Whatever, it's fine, it's working. So now, can we delete said branch? Delete, you can't see that anymore. It's actually off the screen both ways. Uh, but I think I just deleted it. Yeah, so it's got a... Uh... Not surprisingly, it's got... Wait, why is that? Whatever, GS. That thing gets modified all the time, and I can't figure out how or why. Is script editor open? It is. I don't know, like, if it runs it, it does something, like, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, delete. I mean, nothing changed. I'm just gonna leave that and sit. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna add it straight to master. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Now we're good. I'm having massive deja vu right now, which is weird because. This is all new. Django. I do want to play with this just a little bit, but then maybe I'm going to go cut some gifts. Uh, get started with Django. You know what? Are we going to do this? I was so frustrated with that tutorial yesterday. Um, I don't remember where I put it. Django Sandbox, probably. That looks... Whoa, wait a minute. This is all old stuff. 
Yeah, 2017. <laughs> that was when I looked at Django last. Been a bit. Uh, yeah. Where did I put it the other night? I have no idea. I don't think I put it in there. Where did I put it? Uh, here. Django Sandbox. There's a lot of inits. A lot of admins. Oh, right at... It's right in the home. Right in my home. Here. My site. Okay. You know what? I don't want to... I don't want to mess with it tonight. Um... Just because it was so frustrating last night, and I'm kind of cooked. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the stream here. I'll probably be back on a little bit later just to make some gifts, just chilling out, listening to music, not actually doing anything. Um, but that'll do it for now. So y'all have a good one. Be kind, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>